The significant moments in my career were essentially doing things like meeting people and associating with people like Ann Coleman, uh, who I got to work with quite a bit at uh, the uh, when she was still in Brooklyn, and Carol Crute, God bless Carol Crute, who then went on to the Athenaeum after the Anne left Brooklyn. Um, so I got and I worked. So I worked with Carol and I worked with Anne, and Jean Drusado, who was at that point at the Met, was fabulous. And we had come across something when I was working at the Museum of New York. I went up and got in to do some work there, and discovered that they had all of these patterns that were mulls, they were, they were uh, muslins, taken by the WPA, the Works Progress Association, as part of the Index of American Design. So I got really intrigued with that. And I was talking to Jean about it, and Jean said, oh, we'll call Elizabeth Brown. So we called Elizabeth Brown. Now, Elizabeth Brown, is someone who was very active in the organization and was a walking encyclopedia and, and an extraordinary parliamentarian. Um, <laughs> but Elizabeth came in and we got to talking and we looked up the Index of American Design and we got, I didn't know anything about it at that point, and discovered things like Amelia Davenport worked for the Index of America, American Design and there were all of these people who were part of that WPA project who were going through and making paintings and doing clothing and taking patterns from the clothing. And it's an indication of how far we've come in terms of our scholarship and knowledge because of organizations like the Costume Society of America. There was a gown in there that they had indicated as a worth. Well, it started life in 1802, and it had been redone several times as a wedding dress for <laughs> brides. So by the 1890s, it had been kind of revamped into this very strange dress that was documented as part of the WPA, but they didn't realize at that time the origins because the research that was just really getting started with scholars like Amelia Davenport um, made, has made all the difference in the world in terms of our understanding. And it's kind of ast astonishing how much we've learned and a little scary about how much we still don't know.